meant to be able to just live and still keep creating. That's pretty much it, eh? really. Doing what you what you want to do, doing what you love, taking care of your family. So when I first came here from Newe, I went and stayed with my uncle. Uh, awesome dude, Sparky. And my job with him when I wasn't at uni was to drive around <laughs> the inorganics and pick up washing machines and dryers and stuff and bring them back and then we'd fix them and just sell them. And like pretty much most of the New England community, oh, I'd say a lot of the island community here, this one just up here, the brick house. And, it would, and look, there used to be like a garage there and they would be lined up with washing machines and now there's a giant house bang right there brand new who would have thought but <laughs> i won't lie man sometimes we get paid in like lunch i'm gonna be for <laughs> like maybe 20 dollars and something it was cool going on at the beach that's what i was thinking what do you reckon yeah, nice. yeah? let's cruise to the beach man Hot. I love, I love my area, actually. I love my area. Man, the food around our area is banging, you know? Like even the Chinese, the normal Chinese takeaways and all that sort of thing. I, I like, I like, I like the, there's so many different people. I like the fact that it was heavily, I mean, yeah, it's obviously changing, but there's still elements of it there. You know, I, I know all the dairies, I know all the names of the guys that work there. You know, just it's it's comforting. It is. I didn't, I, I I won't lie. The first the first um, the first time I flew into NZ, my auntie from Otara picked me up. She took me back to her place. My cousins. Is it Beards Beards Road? Yeah. So that was like you know night time. And so I got up in the morning. My cousins were like, bruh. Let's walk down to the bakery, grab us some Sally Lynn buns. Those buns, they're not there anymore, but those were a gangster hunt. I was like, yeah, sweet ass, man, let's go. And I'm like walking, we're walking down to the Otara like, shops. I'm looking around, you know, because you have your preconceived ideas of what NZ is going to be like. It's like, man, there's a lot of brown people here. I was not expecting this. This is cool. And then my uncle picked me up a couple of days later when I in the city. Because, yeah. And I was like, okay, so this is... This is pretty much, so it's just kind of like just that area. One leg in, one leg out kind of thing. And, and the beauty of, of having that connection and making that connection here. That's where I want to come from. So at least that way, you know, that's, I feel comfortable in that. Probably. But that's legit. It, that's it right. is legit. It is legit. Like, I, I almost feel like I don't, I, I, I <coughs> that was my initial concern at the start. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm all or nothing. I go in like that's, but that's the way I work. It's at least I know that.